Guys, I want to read something to you from uh, Rebbe Nachman and see what you think. The uh, abridged Likuti Moran, this is uh, 121. All troubles, sufferings, exiles, and all the lacking that a person feels, whether it is in financial income or children or physical health, etc., all this only comes to a person according to their lack of spiritual awareness. And when a person perfects his spiritual awareness, then all of his shortcomings will be compensated for. As Rabbi Matla says, if you've acquired knowledge, then what are you lacking? And if you lack knowledge, then what have you acquired? Interestingly enough, Rabbi Nachman says, not just certain troubles or not some of the troubles that we experience, but all troubles, sufferings, and exiles. <laughs> Every trouble is coming because we lack spiritual awareness. So what is spiritual awareness? Well, that's a great question. Um, I think, you know, we could say it's being aware that there's something more than the physical. I think it's more than, more than that. It's knowing that there is divine providence. I was thinking about how I could share the love of God with my children. How can I make sure that my children know that I love them? How can I make sure that my children know that God loves them? How can I make sure that the world knows <laughs> that God loves them? And the answer that I was getting this morning was by sharing with them about divine providence. What's divine providence? Well, divine providence is... is the realization that everything that happens to us in our lives is by divine providence, meaning that God has specifically orchestrated everything for our good. And that, in essence, is imuna. We have to have the imuna, the faith that believes that God has divine providence on our lives. Everything every interaction, even the sufferings that we experience are coming to us only from the Creator, not from some other force against the Creator, but from the Creator. And the ultimate purpose is good. It may not seem very good to us at the moment, but the ultimate purpose is good. So how can I share that my children are loved? God forbid I would pass from this world uh, and they would think that they weren't loved. I want them to feel so loved that, um, you know, that there's never any question of it. And if I can help them see divine providence, then I believe, you know, like if I, if I really truly believe that God has divine providence on my life, then I believe I will feel loved. And if I can help others to believe that as well, then I believe that they will feel loved and that will change their perspective. Well, I think one of the best ways of beginning to see that is going to be by having an attitude of gratitude. That's right. So if you can begin to thank God for everything, I know we've chatted about that a little bit before, but what if you were to thank God not just in general for your clothes, like, hey, thank you, God, that I have clothes to wear. But what if you were to say, God, thank you for this um, shirt or this blouse. Thank you for these pants or this skirt. Um, thank you, you know, for this specific sweater. Thank you, God, that I have that. Not just for clothes in general, but for everything that you put on. That, that there's, not just that there's clothes in your closet, but that there's clothes that you're wearing. Thank you for my shoes. Thank you for my socks. Those are super duper important to me. And if we begin to thank God for every little detail, our minds like our minds begin to open up to all of the things that God has actually given us. Like and we begin to not take things for granted. So when we're taking things for granted such as running water in our sink, right? Since when was that something we should take for granted? I, like, I don't think it was that long ago. I mean, my parents and grandparents probably had to go draw water from the well. I, I, my grandparents probably had to draw water from a river and then bring it into the house and then heat it so they could have a bath. 
or maybe they just took a cold bath. So like we take so many things for granted that we can just walk up to the sink and turn the water on and that it's hot, right? No, like I need to be thanking God that one, that there's a faucet inside the house. I don't have to go outside. Like, thank God. So there's so many things that we um, take for granted. When we begin to, to open up to those seemingly small things and th thanking God for those seemingly small things, then I believe that we will have an easier time thanking God for the bigger things, even when they do seem to be uh, somewhat, um, at least in our perceptive perception, negative at the moment. When our eyes and ears are, and minds are open to God's divine providence, then we can see that he really loves us because each thing that happens to us, we can realize is actually for our good. May we all see that today. May you guys be blessed with only goodness and sincere help from above in all of your endeavors today.